Hello everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can create a WordPress website on a Vulture VPS We're using plus control panel like this. So you can see here the plus control panel is really easy to use and all the main settings that you would need for your WordPress website are here. You can access the file manager, database, FTP access, backup, pre-store, uh, antivirus and SSL certificates, web application firewall and one click WordPress installer. So the first thing you have to do is sign up for Vulture VPS hosting. Compared to shared hosting, you will get a lot better performance for less price or the same price. So all you have to do is visit my blog here because currently there is a great offer going on for Vulture VPS. So you can get $100 free credit to try any of their service for 15 or 30 days as per the latest offer. So find this link in the description and follow this step-by-step -step instructions or if you want to watch a video how to get free $100 vulture credit then you can also find the video link here I have already created a video about this so uh, it's really simple to follow this step-by-step -step instructions and it will be much quicker so just click on this link it will take you to the vulture website and then you have to sign up as shown here then in step 3 Create your account using email and password and then you will have to link a payment method. This is, this is done to prevent spam and to verify that you are a genuine user and not just abusing their service using free trials. So all you have to do is just link your credit card, PayPal or crypto or whatever payment method you want to use for Vulture hosting. And then make sure to tick this option that I just want to link my credit card or payment method for $0 deposit and you don't have to pay anything for the trial. So you can continue to using their service using the free credits and if you like the service you can continue to pay for it. After you complete linking your payment method with Vulture then you will see a interface like this. You can see I'm already using this service for my main website. I really like this service mainly because of the performance and almost zero downtime. So let's create our Plesk VPS instance and create our WordPress website on it. For that, you will have to click this uh, blue plus icon here. Just click on deploy new server. Now you will have to select which type of server you want to create. So for VPS, uh, you have to select between these two options, high frequency or cloud compute. Cloud compute is slightly cheaper compared to high frequency. Cloud compare plan starts from $2.5 if you select the US location. So here I select the US location and then you can see the server size. And for WordPress website, I would recommend you to go with at least one GB of memory. So this $5 plan. So if you select cloud compute, you can start with $5 and if you pay just $1 extra and select the high frequency which I recommend and use you will get a lot better performance and the plans start from $6 per month. Select a server location which is closest to your audience. So I will select this and then scroll down in server type go to marketplace apps and you will be able to see this Plesk option else search for Plesk. Then click on this icon here, then select the first free option, Web Admin SE. Okay. Now scroll down and select the server size. On this $6 per month server, you can easily host three small WordPress website, blog types or simple portfolio, non-e-commerce website type. In additional features, do not take any of these options. Just scroll down and in server host name and label put your domain name here you can see this message server added successfully and here you will see that the status is showing installing so this will take like five to seven minutes okay so after about one minute the status has changed to running so we will click on this domain name and you will see that please note your server may be still finishing installing and booting so to monitor the progress you can uh, either view the console to monitor the progress or wait for two more minutes here you will see the server details so just click on this open this link in the new tab 
and you will see this error it is because there is no proper SSL certificate installed but there is nothing but you don't have to worry because we know this is our own server click on advance here then click on proceed to this IP and then it will show you the Plesk login this is the Plesk login page from where we will access our VPS control panel so to get its credentials simply go to the Vulture website and from here copy this password again go to the plus control panel here go type in username type root then in password paste the password we just copied and then click on login I will also accept all cookies here just to remove that banner and in the contact information you can type your name here and your email ID then generate a password here and see it here I will copy it and save it in a notepad or somewhere this is the password we will need next time to log in into our account click on I confirm that I have read and accepted the terms and condition now click on enter plesk Plesk will set up and this will take only one minute or less than that on the bottom right screen you can see there is some progress going on so I would recommend you to wait till this progress bar is complete now we will add our domain which we will use for our WordPress website click on add domain it will show you two options select this one registered domain name then here type your domain name in advanced web page settings you can see this uh, credentials that will be required for FTP and SSH access so if you want you can copy this password right now or you can also copy them later or or change them later for now I will leave them as default settings and click on add domain So adding domain process is complete and this page will automatically refresh after a few seconds. As you can see on the bottom right screen also here it is showing that this domain is not resolving to the correct IP. So now we will point our domain to the correct IP of this VPS server you can also preview our server here right now you can see Plesk has been installed successfully and it is working properly let's go back to the Plesk control panel we can get our VPS server IP either from here Plesk control panel or you can also see it in the URL here or you can also find it in the world control panel so I will copy our IP address here and now we will have to go to the website of your domain registrar for example I am using Namecheap to manage my domains you can go to the website of your domain registrar if you do not know how to change the DNS record simply go to Google and type this how to update DNS records in your uh, domain registrar name so I think most popular will be GoDaddy Namecheap I, any domain registrar you can just type this and search and then you will find step-by-step -step instructions how to do that if for popular domain registrars I will put some link in the description from where you can easily understand how to update the DNS records so if you are using Namecheap follow the same instructions log into your dashboard then select the domain click on manage here Okay, so right now you, you are seeing that I'm using this custom DNS and I will also show you one thing I will also provide this link in the description so everything I mentioned in this video will be available in the description so please make sure to check the links in the description and any updated information so right now if I type my domain name here and select a record and click on search 
you will see that my this domain is pointing to this IP. It is not the same IP of our VPS server. So we will change the DNS records in our domain registrar namecheap here. And then we will again check that if it is pointing to the correct IP now. Let's go back to namecheap here. So I will select here namecheap basic DNS. Save it here. Okay. Then we'll go to advanced DNS. For all domain registrar, the process will be same. Only the interface will be slightly different. So you have to create the same records for all domain registrar. You can see these are my existing records. So I would recommend you to take a screenshot or picture or some way just create a backup of your current DNS records and then proceed to remove them. To make things easy, I will just remove them and start from scratch. And I would recommend you to please take a screenshot or some way uh, keep a backup of all your existing records before making any changes. So I will click on remove here. and then we will start adding some records click on add new record and first type here select type a record in host name select add the rate and here paste the ip then click on tick this option to save changes then add another record this time select a c name record here type www host and in value put your main domain name here then click on save changes I will add another a record here ftp and then paste the ip here save changes so these are the most important and essential records that we need to make our website work. We will add more records later as required. Okay. Now let's go to this website and refresh search again and see if it is pointing to the correct IP or not. As you can see, when I'm refreshing the search results, it is still showing in that it is pointing to the old IP. So name server update process will take few minutes. You can also take this option. This will automatically refresh after every 20 seconds. And then when you see the new IP, we will take the next steps. Till the DNS propagation happens, let's complete some other steps that we can do. For that, go to the plus control panel here. Click on this WordPress toolkit here. And you will see that currently there is no WordPress website installed. Simply click on this install WordPress. Here leave everything as default. If you want to install WordPress in a directory, then you can provide an installation path here. But I would not as most people would install it on the root folder only. Um, from here, I will copy this password and save it. Also save the username. Okay, make sure that your email is correct. If you want to change, you can do that. And in automatic update settings, I would recommend you to switch it to yes, but only minor security updates. So your plugins will not automatically get updated and leave everything in the database section as default if you want to change the prefix or something you can do that but i would not recommend then click on install on the bottom right of the screen you will be able to see the progress of wordpress installation this will only take few seconds or Okay, so you can see the WordPress has been installed and the page will automatically refresh and here click on no thanks. We do not want to install any plugins right now. 
Now let's check if the DNS propagation is complete or it is still showing the old IP. Okay, so it is still showing the old IP. Let's configure our WordPress settings here. So I will first turn on the caching and turn on this maintenance mode. Make sure to turn off this maintenance mode when uh, everything starts working and you want to set up your website. To access the file manager, you can do it from here. From here, you can access all the files that are stored on this website here. Here, you can access all your websites. You can change the permission. You can also select and edit them if you would want to select them and then you can edit them. Let's go back here to the WordPress. And you will see all these options of plugins. From here, you can also disable or enable plugins. Also, you can do that for themes. So this can be useful when troubleshooting. And you can also access the database here. You can go to the PHP admin and do, this is only for advanced users. So do not change anything here unless you know what you are doing. So let's go back to the dashboard. So there is also an option of directly logging into the WordPress setup, but we can do that only after our domain starts pointing to the correct VPS IP. There is also an option of backup and restore. From here, you can go to backup and this will start backing up your website. You can see the task is completed because this is just a fresh WordPress installation and this is very small in size. So you can download it uh, to your PC here or you can also delete it. I will close this here. Now we will go to the tools and settings and make sure that everything is updated. So here in server management, you will see system updates. And you can see everything is up to date in all packages. You will see that um, we can check for updates manually, but just go to the settings and by default, the automatic updates are enabled. So usually you don't really have to do anything. Click on website and domains here. From here also, you can see, find all this backup, restore, database and WordPress options. So first let's scan our WordPress installation with a, this antivirus. We can also access the settings from the security section here. Click this option, click on OK. Now you can, uh, if you have multiple websites, it will show up here. So you can decide which sections you want to scan. If you want to scan all, then you can select this option. Right now there's only one website. So I will click on scan here. Till this is scanning, we can do any other work if you want. We can go back to the website and domains here. And you will see also this option of web application firewall. Here you can see by default it is set to on. Make sure that it is on here. You can also access the log files from here. And there's uh, nothing much to do. By default it is turned on. And you can see the log files. So it is showing some warnings that about the SSL certificate. Now let's try to see if we can issue an SSL certificate, which can only happen after our domain start pointing to the new IP. Click on this option here. From here, scroll down and click on this install a free basic certificate by Let's Encrypt. Click on install. Click on this option, secure the wildcard domain, get it free. So if you see this message, it means the domain is pointing to the correct IP. And now we have to create this record in our domain registrar. If you see an error, do not worry. All you have to do is try after some time. So I will just click. So I will copy this record from here. Go to Namecheap, click on add new record. Here we have to select txt type record. In host name, I will paste this. Just paste this part. Acme challenge. And then from record, 
copy this and paste it from here then save this now we will go to this website and check if the text record we added is working or not go to the plesk panel here copy this domain name and paste it here then select txt from here then click on lookup dns so you can see it is showing this record let's see if it is the correct record we just added so we just added this and this is showing the old record so i would recommend you to try it after a few minutes again to see if the record is updated or change the dns server here and okay so when i change the dns server to google it is showing the new record so hopefully it got updated now i would recommend you to wait for five minutes uh, before checking and from here click on reload now so if it is if it detects the correct record then it will issue the ssl certificate else you will have to try again okay so you can see installed the ssl certificate and uh, our site is now secure the ssl certificate has been issued you can see the validity and the email address and everything from here you can turn on this option keep website secure it will automatically renew the ssl certificate now our wordpress installation is complete we have also issued the ssl certificate for our website our domain is pointing to the ip and i have shown you how you can backup restore scan your website with this antivirus and on the right side bar here you can see the system security is on ip address panning mod security is on so everything basic that we need to get our website up is working then now all you have to do is if you how to log into your wordpress website either you can directly open your website and you log in just as you do with any normal wordpress website go to wp admin enter the username and password we created before and then log in or you can also use the wordpress option here you can go to either wordpress here or from here wordpress toolkit and you will see this option of login so if you click here it will directly log you into the wordpress admin area and from there you can design your website or migrate or do whatever you want in this tutorial i'm not going to cover the design part so for that you will have to watch my other videos and you will also see this log options here and copy data and some other options not every feature will be available in the free edition so but the basic things we need is already here and if you want to add more websites here in plesk free version we can add total of three websites three domains you can add uh, uh, any subdomains if you want that's not limited so to add more domains the process is very simple just click on add domain here you will again see this option click on uh, just register your domain here then click on add domain and repeat the same process and i will create more video tutorials related to this vulture plesk setup how you can set up email how you can set up smtp records security and backup tutorial how you can link it to cloudflare if you want and how you can migrate your website to vulture vps using this setup with minimal downtime so you can find those links in the description if i have created those videos or you can come back to this blog post and see if i have uh, updated it so right now you can see the other tutorial links will be updated soon Hope you guys found this video useful. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, consider giving this video a like. Please post your comments as feedback. Uh, what if you found this tutorial easy to understand, or if you found it difficult, or I should make these things more easier so I can try to make my tutorials better next time. Again, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.